to Jaywick Daily Lives. Good afternoon everybody. I went out today, I done my hour exercise and I took my dog with me, Dylan. He really enjoyed it. I spoke to the policeman and asked him if I was allowed to go out for my daily exercise. He said at the moment that he's fine. As long as I don't stop and cause problems, which I don't, everything's fine. So that's just on my mind. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I spoke to him and got myself what I'm allowed to do exercise. So yeah, now I'm just basically at home. I've stayed home ever since my exercise. Got no reason to go to the shop, nothing that I emergency need. So I'm staying home to save lives. Today, today's program is gonna be quite dedicated towards Boris Johnson. Because as we all know, Boris Johnson is in hospital. And well, you know, Boris Johnson, if you're conservative or not, he's done a great job in trying to save lives and do the right thing. And whoever's in his job, it would have been hard. Well done, Boris Johnson, and please get well soon, Boris Johnson. Today we've got a special guest. We've got Donna Mims, who spent a lot of time at St Thomas's Hospital. St Thomas's Hospital is where Boris Johnson is right now. So we're going to talk to Donna throughout this programme, and we're going to talk to Donna about what happened when she was there and how good a hosp hospital it is, because St Thomas's Hospital has saved Donna's life quite a few times. We're going to find out how many times during this episode. So, shine on everybody. Let me just put this here. Okay. So shine on everybody. So I'm really looking forward to talking to Donna about uh, St. Thomas's Hospital to find out the things that we don't know. So that's gonna be great. And we're gonna find out how great a hospital it is and how safe Boris Johnson is in their hands. Let me just look through the messages now until we get to Donna. Here we go. So, hello Cliff Dean, shine on Cliff. Hello Barbara, shine on Barbara. Cliff Dean, what a beautiful day. Cliff, it's such a beautiful day. We've got to stay home to save lives, but we've got a garden, most of us. So the ones that are lucky enough to have a little garden, I've got a watchtower, which is my garden. I'm out of the way here, I'm not bothering anybody. So I'll just do my JWIT daily live radio, just so we can all communicate, find out how we're all getting through this. It's a good idea of mine. This is kind of my way of helping people because it brings people together. And that is helping people. By bringing people together, you're helping people. And that to me is helping people in a way. So let's just keep communicating with each other. Keep looking on the bright side of life. Keep learning from each other. Keep working out how to do it and when to do it and why to do it and the logic of it all. And shine on, that is why we're doing it. So thank you to Barbara. Cliff, what a beautiful day, you are truly right. Hello Julie, Julie is amazing, hello Julie. Afternoon to you and Brian, I hope you're all okay. So there's Joanne, how are you all doing in Sunny Happy Joe? We are very well, thank you Joanne. I had a lovely walk along the beach, Jay Wick is spectacular. I hope you and Dan are okay, Dan, Joe. And we've got Jackie, shine on Jackie D. And we've got Marcos, shine on Marcos. And we've got Julie, it's better four o'clock. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because yesterday Julie said to me, it's better I do these programs between four and five, and then when this program finishes, it can go into the uh, the BBC program. So well done, Julie. I do listen to you, and I do listen to everybody. And when I see that I need to make a change, then with your help, I will make that change. But I will daily make mistakes, and then you can daily correct me. But you know, I'm human, and that's why you like me because I make mistakes, and I admit it. I put both my hands up. Yay, I make mistakes. There's both my hands up in the air. Yeah, because I make mistakes. And I'm quite happy to be a man about it. And I will learn not to do it again. And I will learn not to make that same mistake again. 
you see me making the same mistake twice, then I don't think you would shine on everybody. I love you all. So thank you for the feedback. You tell me what I'm doing wrong and I'll make sure I don't go over it or whatever. But you know what I'm like, I'll get a bit excited. It's in my nature. Don't let your nature escape you. So there's Jane, shine on Jane. And there's Julie, I'm putting, I'm putting his politics aside at the moment. Exactly, we put the politics to one side. Let's just get Boris better. Jim Burns, shine on Jim. Mark G. Lewis, shine on to Mark. And your poor wife Sue, shine on Mark. You're in our thoughts. And doing these live video shows, we can talk to people personally. And everyone can know the pain you're going through, Mark. And we, our love is all with you. We all love you, Mark. And we love your wife Sue. And you're not alone. And we always shine you on, Mark. So please remember that love is forever. And we love you forever. Thank you for all the things you do for us and your admin to us on our groups and you put your heart into it and we see that and we notice you and we think you're a great beautiful man and your wife is a beautiful woman forever and I had the honour of meeting her and I'll always shine Sue on and I'll always shine you on Mark. Thank you for you and love you always brother. Shine on. Shine on Sue, okay? Mark's a lovely beautiful man and our hearts are with him and his family. And we've got Donna. Hello, Donna Mims. Afternoon. We've got Donna. Shine on. We're going to talk to Donna in a minute about the interview. Thank you, Donna. Just hold tight. Let me get up to date and then we're going to go straight to you. Marcos, I want a watchtower. Marcos, I always wanted a watchtower. It took me about 30 odd years and, it, and I did it in Jaywick. But wherever it is, it's your watchtower. So just bide your time and it, you will get your watchtower. And if you ever need any help, let me know. Shine on to the watchtower. Um, Chris, hello Chris and your lovely family. We love you DJ, Lewis, Bonnie, Richard. We love all of your family. Lovely genuine people. Shine on to Chris Sweeney and her family. And there's Joanne. That's good to hear. We miss, love you. That's right Joanne. We love, we miss you. Always forever. Beautiful, honest lady you are. They don't make them like you Joanne. There's a song for you Joanne. Give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, for the morning come. Give me hope. Come on, everybody. Give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna. It's just a little personal joke. Always look on the bright side. You are wise. It wasn't a mistake. That's it, Julie. I don't mean to make mistakes, but some in some people's eyes, it is a mistake. They think, because I put a video out of me at the supermarket this morning, they thought that was me today. But that was me what, last week, and that was me. And I just make videos at the time, and I don't put them out for a few days because I like to like put them out in my own time. I haven't got time to sit there and upload them all the time. So I apologise once again that I'm making films a week ago and putting them out today. People are confused. I'm sure if you look at my face today, there's no beard. And if you look at the video, I had a beard, and there's clues in the picture like that. But I don't want to get involved. I don't want no arguments between me and anybody. I, I would not break the rules. I stay home. I save lives. This is why I'm, I made this radio program, Jaywick Daily Lives. Every day I go live for an hour to talk to all of you individually. And that's love, because I love you. And you love me, we love each other. And all the people can love each other through this. We can spread that love. We can share the video. And everyone can get involved. So everyone should share the video and show what we're getting up to to get through the coronavirus. We are staying home, we are saving lives, and we're doing things like this. I created this to stay home and save lives. This is why I'm doing it. Shine on, and uh, I love you all. And uh, we love you, Donna Mims Sue. We do love Donna Mims. Tracy, hello Tracy. Shine on Tracy Newby and your lovely family. Shine on to Demi and your family. Shine on to Mark. Mark, thank you, my friend. Your heart and soul is heaven on earth. We love you, Mark. And when, when all this is over, we're going to come and have a barbecue, barbecue with you, me and Donna and all the crew. Let's give you some love. Shine on, Mark. Keep the faith. Tristan Wallace, love you all. Love you, brother. Love you, Bev. Oh, Arthur kissed me today. Arthur's the first cat to ever kiss me. I really enjoyed that. I made a film of it as well. So we love Arthur and we love you. Don't forget, we want a female. We love you. Shine on, Wall. Poker later. There's Tina. Hi, are you? I like watching your Hello, Tina. Thank you. I like making my videos. I like to show I like to show where, where I live, show how I live. I, I hope I know it offends some people, 
and I apologize. I don't mean to upset anybody. I'm just showing my life and how I live. And if you like it, you can watch it. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch it. I don't see why people should have a go at me about what I do. I don't ask people to watch it. I don't make people watch it. If people want to watch it, then they can watch it. But if they don't want to watch it, they don't have to watch it. I don't want people to do anything they don't want to do. But a lot of people like to watch my videos. A lot of people message me every day to make videos. And I'm thinking I'm getting a bit bored of this. But people won't let me stop because they know I'm good at it. And they know I like doing it. So thank you very much. There's more lovers than haters. So I'm actually going to stay on the side of the lovers. And I will forget and ignore the haters. There's no such thing as a hater. It's all love, baby. Shine on. So thank you. Thank you, Tina. We love you and your family. Shine on. And there's my little mate, Richard. We love Richard. What a heart of gold he's got. And we got Chris. Our afternoon, Chris. And all your lovely family. We got the mighty Andy Chopper Harris. Shine on, Andy. We love you. And Richard. Hello, mate. Shine on, Richard. And Donna Mims. Hello, Donna. When I get to the end of this list, we're going to do the interview. So hold tight, Donna. We can't wait to hear all about St. Thomas's Hospital, where Boris Johnson is. And you can tell us the inside story and how... Well, we wait till we interview you. Thank you, Donna. We can't wait. I hope you're feeling better. I am feeling great, Richard. I am on my radio show with all of you beautiful people. We are communicating. We are telling each other what is going on. We're getting through the coronavirus by saving lives. And this is what I'm doing to stay home. And hopefully people can see that I'm home as we all should. Apart from my one hour a day exercise. But I heard today that France cannot have exercise between 10 and 7 p.m. from tomorrow so maybe we're going to get restrictions like that as well just obviously because it's really hot and people are using it as an excuse but i never would shine on right thank you richard i am feeling better shine on john peters forever robert clay keeping well mate. thank you robert i am keeping well my old mate i remember when me and you were driving on the seawall when we was about 16 years old and we had that mini <laughs> that was funny weren't it shine on rob always forever mate and there's Audrey, shine on Audrey. Richard, I see the police helicopter was there earlier. Yes, we've had helicopters, we've had police all day. Police have been going up to people, telling them they're doing unnecessary work, things like that. It's been going, go the police are doing their job. Well done to everybody. Beth Williams, shine on. Jack Stevenson, hello Jack. Can't he I forever? We love Jack. Jack's out my brother. Amanda, shine on, breath of fresh air. Amanda, shine on for some more breath of fresh air. Num your whole renge cure, num your whole renge cure, your whole renge cure, num your whole renge cure. I am a Buddha to myself. I do not believe in anything but my. I am Buddha to myself. That is as far as I go with religion. I believe in myself. Oh, and I believe in you, you beautiful people. Shine on to Amanda and shine on to Dean Potts, shine on to Paul Jones and Donna, shine on to Donna. Peace and love. And then we got Richard, it's a sunny here too. Excellent Richard, shine on brother. We got brother Martin, Patea, 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 shine on Martin, love you brother. And we got Sharon Taylor, shine on to Sharon Taylor for all the good that you do, we love you, yes we do. Shine on to Donna Cole, too good. Sorry, it's talking about what people say and think. Thank you Donna. I just don't want people, I don't want people to think that I'm bending the rules or I'm not doing things by the book because people always think that of me. So I just want to try and put, put people straight. Hello, little mate. So, um, yeah, that's that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, like, satisfy everybody, but I know that we never can. Anyway, shine on, everybody. Uh, hello, Sharon. Shine on, Sir Sharon. A great asset to our collective. Sharon does a lot, and we're very grateful for Sharon. And Nibs, so shine on, Sharon. Keep doing the good things that you do for people. We got, we, I've got Donna. Donna is amazing. Donna is such an amazing woman. So I'm so grateful I've got Donna in my life. And we've got Sharon in our life too. And we've got Dean in our life. We've got Richard in our life. We've got all of you beautiful people on here in our lives. You are all here. We've got Donna. We've got Sharon. We've got Robert. Sorry. Bless me. We've got Robert Clay. We've got Richard Colson. Joanna Smallman. Yes, we will definitely do that, Joanne. We're not going to go into that. I'm talking to my new friend. Well done, Richard. Well done, Dean. Shine on. That's it, Dean. We love Dean. We love David Curtis all of you do you know what there's so much love here Look, you can see my road down there see my road life there's not one not one person 
we are all self-isolating. There is no cars. There is no people. We are self-isolating. If we can do it, so can you. I'll make these live videos to show you we are self-isolating. Stay home. Save lives. And you do have me. You all have me. And we have each other. And together... How's your dad doing, Danny? Thank you, Donna. My dad is doing great. I'm staying away from him because I've got to stay away from everyone. But we speak on the phone and my dad sends his love to me. And he's staying home to save lives as well. Apart from his a bit of exercise because he likes to walk his dogs and keep fit. But my dad's doing very well. And I hope you and your family are well too, Donna. Thank you and shine on. And Richard, how me and my friend are getting to know each other better. And hopefully one day we will meet up too. Richard, if you've got dreams, keep them. And they can come true. You've got to have the dream for it to come true. I dreamt of walls being in Europe. And because of my beautiful friend Donna Mims, she brought me this jacket for my birthday. Look at that. Wolves, Europa League. Thank you, Donna. I love this jacket, as you can tell. And I love you too. And Donna, Donna Mims, I wanna hope I didn't realise till yesterday that you had a chest infection over the last couple of weeks. So I want to say on this live video, get well soon, Donna. Donna Mims, get well soon. It's sad that you had a chest infection, considering you was in hospital around November time for about two weeks. It always rains on you at the moment. But don't let it get to you, all right? You've got loads of good times to look forward to. Joe Rick loves you. I love you. Joe Rick says, Happy Club, you're our secretary. Keep doing what you do. Keep, thank you for helping me upload my videos to YouTube and keep busy. I keep busy. We'll overcome all these illnesses. Your chest infection has got a resurrection and it can shine off because we want you back. I hope it's going away. You sound better and we love you, Donna Mims. Get well soon. And all you other people here, if any of you are not well, I wish you all to get well soon, okay? And if you know someone that's suffer, suffering with coronavirus, then please send my love and just shine on, yeah? I pray for everyone here. Just stay home, save lives. Can't wait till we see you after this. No, I can't wait till I see you. We've probably got another four weeks of this, four to six weeks maybe. I can't tell how long, but I will stay as long as it takes. And you're an Arsenal supporter. I like Arsenal. My, one of my favorite, we like Arsenal. My dad likes Arsenal. Good team, Arsenal. I've got some good friends that like Arsenal. Arsenal are a great team. Shine on Arsenal. John Herbert, shine on John Herbert. Lovely. So we're looking for Donna Mims now. Are you there, Donna? Let's talk about St. Thomas's Hospital. Because Donna is going to give me an interview now about being in St. Thomas's Hospital. And we're going to find out. Because Donna has told me some things that I want to share with all of you. But I think we seem to have lost her at the moment, so I have to wait till Donna comes back. Hi, hi, bruv! Here we go, Donna's here. Excellent, well done, Donna. Right. Right, so this is Donna Mims talking now, ladies and gentlemen. St. Thomas's Hospital was one of the best ICUs and respirators respiratory units in the world. I was on a ventilator 20 years ago for six weeks in my local hospital. The doctors asked my family, can they turn the ventilator off? My family asked for a second pinion, got transferred to St. Thomas's on the Friday afternoon on a ventilator by the Sunday morning. I was off the ventilator. That's how good they are. That's a lovely story, Donna Mims. So basically the hospital that Boris Johnson is in, St. Thomas's Hospital, that story Donna just told you was her in that hospital 20 years ago. And they saved Donna's life and it's the best hospital she's known because Donna's been in a lot of hospitals. And that is the best hospital she knows. So well done, Donna Mims. Tell us some more stories about it, please. Shine on to Boris Johnson. You are in the best hospital, as what Donna Mims is saying. We pray that you're okay. And here's my goddaughter, ladies and gentlemen. Jabit Live Radio. There is my little goddaughter. Where is she? There she is. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Oh, don't she look beautiful? She looks like a supermodel. Where'd she get her looks from, brother? Look at you. <laughs> and there's Michael. Arthur. Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Shine on Jay Wick. You're on Jay Wick Daily Radio. You're on Jay Wick Daily Radio. Do you want to say anything to everybody? Hello, Arthur. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Martin. How's it going? 
Beautiful day in paradise. Yes, and I am doing my one hour Jaywick daily radio. Yes, I like to be up here in the sun because if I've got to be indoors, I might as well be out here. I am self isolating, I'm just doing it on my watchtower. I recommend you make yourself a watchtower and then you can go on it. It's wonderful up here, isn't it? You've been up here many times, Martin. Good times, yeah? Huh? We got enough haters. <laughs> I let you go, brother. I love you lots. Bye, Martin. Bye, Michelle. Bye. Bye, Arthur. Bye, bye. Ah. Oh. friends and we go back a very long way and basically we went to Thailand together and his daughter I'm his, I'm his daughter's godfather that is beautiful Michelle wow what a beauty she is anyway shine on everybody this is Jaywick Daily Lives Radio and I do have to have a little bit of fun and I'm not going to not say hello to my friend when he walks past am I so shine on so we've got right Don let's go right so this is today is, is about Boris Johnson as well as us how we're all saying a prayer for him and what we're going to say to Boris, about Boris Johnson is that we pray that you get through and we've heard he's not on a ventilator and he's just in intensive care so touch wood because he's a fit he's a fit man even though he's quite big built he's very he's very fit he goes jogging all the time so fingers crossed Boris will pull through your country needs you Boris we love you so my, my one of my best friends Donna Mims she's um been to St Thomas's hospitals for the last 20 30 years and uh, she told me last night how good a hospital they are because she's been in it herself. So Donna's given me a sort of an interview to her today by telling me some things that happened there. So here's one thing. So Donna Mim, she says, St. Thomas's Hospital has one of the best ICUs and respiratory units in the world. I was on the vent ventilator 20 years ago for six weeks in my local hospital. The doctors asked my family, can they turn the ventilator off? My family asked for a second opinion. Got transferred to St. Thomas's on the Friday afternoon on the ventilator. By the Sunday morning, I was off the ventilator. ventilator. That's how good they are. Wow, they truly saved your life, didn't they, Donna? And that is the same hospital Boris Johnson has just gone into. And that, look how it saved Donna's life. And if you can save Donna's life, save everybody's life. St. Thomas's Hospital, what an amazing hospital. Thank you, Donna. I'm so glad that you, your family got a second opinion because I couldn't imagine life without you. You definitely are the sunshine of a lot of our lives. And definitely mine. We love you, Donna. And don't you ever get ill again. We love you, Donna. You're too important for that. Shine on to Donna. Kerry Brooks, shine on. Shine on to Richard. I think he's gonna. He's doing okay. I pray he's okay, Richard. We love him. We got uh, Gladia, shine on. Simon Bishop, shine on. Richard Carlson, he's king of the castle. Well, I'm not king of the castle. I'm just... I'm just king of all along the watchtower. This is my little uh, castle. Every every man's home is his castle. And this is my castle. I just built a watchtower in it. Shine on. You got a lovely view. I love the watchtower. Shine on brother Ian. We love Ian. Shine on Ian Saunders, brother. Can't wait to see you. And Donna Mims, you was on the same ward as what Boris Johnson was on. He's on. That's amazing. Wow. Shine on Donna Mims. Donna Mims, tell me what sort of ward is it? And how, is it different to any other wards and all that stuff? And Richard Coulson, I'm sure Boris Johnson will get through it. We pray, Richard, we pray he gets through it. That's the main thing. Danny. Hi, brothers. How you doing, all right? I'm just uh, doing my Jaywick radio show. I've got to show that self-isolation works. Apart from our one hour a day exercise. Shine on brothers. So ladies and gentlemen, we are here in the Costa del Jaywick and we are going to do our time. We are going to stay home to save lives. And we are thinking about Boris Johnson and our thoughts are with his lovely girlfriend, Carrie, I think. They've got a baby on the way. 
and you know that's and, and he runs the country and he's done such a great job. I, I love Boris Johnson. He's such a personality. But people won't like personalities. People will always say they're this or they're flamboyant or they're this or they're that. But come on, Boris Johnson's done all right. And I think most people can agree and come together that Boris Johnson's done all right. So we can all just stick by our Prime Minister and pray that he gets well. And Donna Mims is telling us at the moment that she was in the same hospital as him many times and how 20 years ago it saved her life. And she is on the actual same ward as what Boris Johnson is on now. So Donna Mims has given us an insight to life on that ward and the treatment he's getting and how good it is, which we know already. But Donna's just given us her, her opinion, which is wonderful to have a, a true friend that knows all this. Richard Coulson, you seem to have lovely people living around you and you are all being there for each other. That's right, Richard. You've got to remember, Richard, we have lived here 20, 30, 40 years. And before us, our, our parents lived here. We know each other through like decades. And even if we don't like each other, or even if we don't agree with each other, we get along with each other because it's a small place. We've learned to get along. But in the bigger world, people just go off the rails and it's just, I don't understand the logic of it. Joey, it's got such a nice community spirit and I always want to keep it. I mean, I've had many opportunities in my life to move away. When I was in my teenage years, I was offered opportunities to live in London. Very attractive women offer me jobs there, offer me opportunities. I said, no, 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 no. Where else can I buy a house for like £5,000? You could buy a house in Jaywick in the late 90s for like £5,000. So that was my dream, to own my own house, because I felt very insecure. My mum died when I was young. I just wanted to have my own place, one that they couldn't take from me. So I thought, stay in Jaywick, where houses are cheap, and I'll be able to own my own house, and that would give me security. And that was always my dream. And then I thought, I'm going to build a watchtower, and I'm going to sit on it and watch football with my friends. And that's what we done during the World Cup in the old days. Me, Butch, and all of the crew, we used to come up here, put the television here, and then we used to all sit up here and watch the football, England, during the World Cup. All drinking beer, all waving our arms in the air. Those were the best days of our life. I remember one year, it was my brother's birthday, I think Sonny, and he was about seven or eight. And I put the bouncy castle beside my house. And uh, no, no, it wasn't, he was there, he jumped off. I don't remember, but I think, it, I think it was the old days anyway. It was a beautiful, beautiful memory. And I remember the old house, I was jumping off the roof onto the bouncy castle. Yeah, those are the days. I miss my family, I miss my friends. And if you're out there watching this film, let me let, let me tell you that I love you all. Just because I don't phone you or see ya, don't think I'm not thinking about ya. And I always love ya. That's the thing about life, it goes so fast. You forget about the people that you grew up with, you forget about the people that you love. It's not as if you forgot them, you just, life just takes you away. Then before you know it, one of them's got ill, or one of them's moved, or one of them's got with someone. And you think, where have I been for the last 20 years? So shine on everybody. You know that we love each other forever. We're, we're, all, we're all a victim of this. She was down the caravan in them days. Exactly, Donna. Those were the days, Donna. You could actually brought a house, what you spent a year on rents, and for the caravan, you could have brought a place in one year then you would have owned that forever. That's a mad, isn't it? Rather than pay all them fees, you could have had, uh, had your own place back in them days. But the trouble is now, the houses have gone right up in price. Them days are over. Dean Potts, whilst we are on lockdown, your videos cheer me up every day. You're doing such a fantastic job with your videos. Can't wait to come up to Jay Whip when this passes. Thank you, Dean Potts. It's nice to hear someone say that. Thank you. I do make mistakes in my films and people think that I'm out when I'm not. But shine on. I am doing my lockdown and messages like that make make it all worthwhile. Dean, thank you, my friend. Love and peace to you and your family. Please come down when this is over. Spend a day on the beach of us, eating ice cream, going for a swim and enjoying the best things in life, which is company and each other. Shine on, Dean. China. Leaving Jowick was the biggest mistake of my life. Yeah, I would never leave Jaywick. I could always work it out in Jaywick. If you can't work it out in Jaywick, where can you work it out? In Jaywick, you've got everything you need and we've got each other. And it's the love that gets you over the infrastructure. Just because we don't have the same opportunities as everywhere else, we have each other. And that is something that you don't get everywhere else. So where you lose certain things, you gain other things. It's always like the yin-yang, isn't it? 
yin yang yin yang shine on <laughs> anyway we love you joanne and hopefully one day you'll come back richard yeah people always think that joey is a run down place and that people would like to live there but it seems like a nice place to live that's right richard it's a lovely place to live there's a lot of hard working people here just because in the past we've had a lot of riffraff here it doesn't mean that they always stay riffraff people can change their lives people can do something else in their life just because someone was always like that when they were younger doesn't mean they're like that when they're older people seem to not give people a second chance people seem to not move forward in life people seem to remember what they remember and stay there they're kind of stuck in a time walk let's all do the time walk again do you remember that song the time walk jump to the left jump to the right put your leg in put your leg out let's do the time walk again a lot of people were stuck in the time walk that's the trouble with people they don't let people move forward or project their lives or do something more with it they're stuck in the time warp and that's so hard for them people hopefully i will change their mind and show them that we can do anything with our lives that dreams come true and we can always reinvent ourselves we can always do something else with our lives it's never too late so shine on to you elizabeth hello elizabeth elizabeth we love elizabeth we love your beautiful family i always love your nan your nan used to iron my shirts. I love your nan. She used to iron my shirts when I was about 14 for my old job in the care home. And your mum was wonderful, and all your brothers and sisters. I love you, Liz. Miss you lots. And that's right, Richard. They should let us move forward with our lives. Donna Mims, there was no mobiles and internet in them days. That's why we all lost contact. That's right, Donna. That's why we lost contact. And we lost contact for over 25 years. But we re found each other five years ago and we've made the most of it we message each other every day and we help each other daily we're now team d and that is all the way from 1988 and that is another dream that we may come through that is a simple dream that we didn't even know we had in 1988 if you had said to me and you in 1988 that we would be talking in 2020 about helping each other doing this and that we would have gone wow but we was donna and we knew we knew back then donna that we were mates for life we was all like mates and remember that mighty bulldog i love bulldog scotty i love bulldog and he was such a beautiful brother to us and all of the and big tall darren and all eddie eddie and polly and all of the crew from tower camp i love you all you know that we are always tower camp we should do a um a, a, you know like a, um a reminisce something where we you know like a reunion that's it we should do a reunion for tower camp all of us lot where we all met it's been about 30 years now donna 30 years, 32 years since we met, 33 years, wow, shine on, well I can't believe, this Jaywick Live is taking me way back, tomorrow I think we should talk about Tower Camp, and, and me and Scotty Bulldog, and Eddie, Polly and Donna, we should all talk about Tower Camp days, and what we're doing now, and how life's, life's changed, because it's got better in a lot of ways, Things have got worse, like people communicating with each other and being face to face with people. In the old days, everything was said to people's faces. Now it's all said in fake accounts on, on these places. It's making everybody go mad, giving everybody anxiety. People want to stop all that. They want to shine on, you know? There's no need to hurt others. Just love each other. That's the only message we need to say. Love, love, love. That's right, very good point, Donna. Dot Dean Pot. I will, Danny. Thank you. Can't wait. Shine on to you, my friend. Dean, love to you. What a lovely message you said. My love to you and your family forever, Dean. Please join in every day at four o'clock. We're going to do an hour live where we all talk to each other about how we're getting through this coronavirus. And this is my way of helping you all. That you're all helping me and I'm helping you. We're kind of helping each other by going live. We can actually communicate and have a conversation without phoning. And this is our chance, all of us. This is all of our chances to get our point across. And it's all done with love and unity and shine on. And we love Julie, shine on. We love Richard. Jaywick is getting better for people to live there because they have you as their friend too. Yes, everybody has me. There's some people that I don't get on with. We've disagreed in the past, but I don't hold no grudges. I hope one day we can all have a beer and forget about the past. There's certain things that where people have overstepped the mark, but I don't hold any grudges. I love everybody in Jaywick. And if someone doesn't love me, 
then that's their choice, not mine. So shine on to everybody. I love everybody. And if they don't love me, that's their loss. Thank you, Richard. That's a really good point. So you keep the people of Jaywick going because of you are kind and caring too and like to help the people of Jaywick. It's not just Jaywick. It's everywhere, Richard. I like to reach people further than Jaywick. Because of my videos, I can reach people. Like, for example, where do you live, Richard? Richard? I've got friends all over the world, all over the country. And I have a lot of people message me from all over the country. Up north, in Scotland, in France, in Germany. People message me all the time about how they love my videos. So it's not just Jaywick. To keep the world together. And Jaywick is where I am the most. And I love everywhere, you see. And I love everything. And Jaywick is just what you see the most of. But I do love everywhere else as well. And I want to give that my love too. When I get the opportunity, I will be travelling more. And I will be loving everywhere more. To shine on. Scotty Ray. We love Scotty Ray. Bulldog. He's our brother. Bulldog, I miss you. The old days, forever, Scotty. We love Scotty Ray. 32 years, wow. 32 years. It feels like yesterday. Some people think that Joey is a place for druggies, but they, they're wrong. Listen, there's druggies everywhere. There's druggies in London. There's druggies all over the world. There's not, and there might be the odd druggie in Jaywick, but I don't know any druggies in Jaywick. You know, when I, we was all younger, people might have thought things, but we're older now. There's no drugs here, around here. I'm like 45 years old. Drugs? The only drugs I take are aspirin and the occasional beer. Life's a drug. Life is my drug. Dreams are my drug. Doing well is my drug. Succeeding. Making the most out of love. Life. Loving my daughters. Loving my family. Loving my partner. Love, love, love. That is my drug. Now, if you want drugs, I will give you loads of drugs in love. Love drugs. Love is the only drug. Love is the only drug you need. Drugs, no good. Love is very good. Just transfer all of your habits, all of your addictions, turn them all to love. Any, any, any um, addictions you've got, focus on love and what you love the most and what they would want you to do. And with that love, you can overcome any addiction. And that is my opinion about drugs. Love, not drugs. Thank you, Richard. That is what I feel about drugs. Hello, Jimmy, shine on. And we've got all these beautiful people here. So, it was really nice today. What time is it now? Because I can't see the time, because there's no clocks up here. Anyone got the time, please? And while you're gonna give me the time, I'm gonna show you some views. There's the sea. The sea is over there. That's the sea all around there. There's the new houses. Thank you, Jimmy. 4.45. I'll read Joanne's comment in a minute. Thank you, Jimmy. I've got 15 minutes of Jaywick Live to go. There's the sea. And there is the horses in the fields. Look at them horses. There's no drugs. It's just horses and love. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got 15 minutes to go. And there's a little issue going on here. Richard says something about drugs, and Joanne is very passionate about drugs. And Joanne has just said something. Let me read this out. Uh, Joanne Smallman has just said, Druggies, as you put it, Richard, are still human and have feelings. Not all people on drugs, alcohol are bad. You get people everywhere you go in life with issues. Jaywick is no worse. It's like para paradise. Well said, Joanne. Exactly, Richard. Jaywick is no worse than anywhere else. We do not need to say Jaywick is for druggies. I don't see any drugs. There is no drugs here. I'm not on drugs. Look at my eyes. There's no green man in there. Do you see a little green man walking across my eyes? Exactly. If I was on drugs, I'd be doing that. Right, shine on. Everything is addiction. Drugs, gambling, drink, shopping. That's right, Donna. Everything is an addiction. Drugs, gambling, drink, shopping. I am addicted to life. I am addicted to dreams. I am addicted, I am addicted to making my life better and other people's. That is my addiction, but I do have other addictions.
addictions, but that is my, my main addiction. But anyway, today has been very positive, Javit Lives, Lives. You know, during this coronavirus, this one hour a day, I've got closer to a lot of you people that I see a lot of on Facebook, but I really want to talk to you, like interact with you. So, so doing this, I get to interact with you and read what you say and I can answer you and you answer me and it's kind of like we're communicating and it's great. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, you beautiful people. It wouldn't work if it's, if it's just me, me by myself. I want to say that each and every one of you add something to my life and add something to their community. And I think that you're all beautiful people. And I think that you've all got a very special gift about you. We've all got each other in common. I've got you, you've got me. And that shines on. So you all shine on. And that is what it's all about. And here goes jo Joanne. Joanne, I in on drugs, but it don't make me bad. It makes me happy and hungry. <laughs> they call that the munchies, Joanne. But Joanne, you're a very good person. And there's a lot of people getting drugs from the doctor. A lot of people getting like um, prescription drugs, prescription from the doctors. And they could be worse than other drugs. I'm not saying do other drugs. I'm saying do no drugs. I'm saying the only drug you want to do is the one of doing well, making dreams real, and believing in yourself. That to me is a drug. Be addicted to yourself. Make yourself the dream. Make yourself, you are, you are the dream by the way. You are the dream. We are, we are all the dream. So Donna Mims, do you think COVID-19 is a conspiracy to 5G? Do I think that? I don't know. I don't really have an opinion about that because I'm, I done a Q and A the other day and I got loads and loads of things said to me. I got really confused over it. There does seem to be some something iffy going on. There does seem to be something going on that I can't put my finger on. But maybe if anyone knows any more, let me know. But I'm sure in time we're, we're all going to find out the truth. It does seem a bit funny as they launch 5G, everybody gets ill. Who could tell? And imagine if that was why we was all ill. Man-made. Just for money and... Oh, makes me ill why can't we just all be like we used to and just enjoy life why has it got so serious can't we just love each other that's all i want uh joanne i need some sex drugs joanne shh you got dan dan's your ding dong ding dong dan dan ding dong ding dong dan ding dong dan we're gonna call you ding dong dan so you are ding dong dan and you've got joe Ann. ding dong dan and joe Ann. dig yeah, something like that. Uh, Richard, maybe one day I will come and visit you and you can show me around and tell me stuff about Jowick. Richard, you come to Jowick when this is all over? And you're allowed to come here? I will give you a guided tour and so much more. You, I will do that with pleasure. And you can bring a group of people with you as well. I love showing people around Jowick. The Jowick I know. The Jowick I've walked since I was 10 years old. Let me show you Jowick through my eyes with pleasure. It's only going to be love, guys. Jowick Radio. I do an hour a day. And I basically keep everyone in communication. It's, it's good, isn't it? I'll try, you know, even though I'm on lockdown, I'll just do something about it. So, yeah, Richard, I will give you a guided tour. I want to say we're getting towards the end of today's Jaywick Live. So... Um, I want to say thank you to all of you. You've seen Jaywick through my eyes. I've sat here for an hour with you. You can see I said hello to about four or five people, not many. Most people are self-isolating apart from the exercises that they're allowed. I hope that you all continue to self-isolate. I hope everyone that was involved in this video, I hope that you share this video to show your world how you and me are communicating. So please share my video if, you, if we spoke to each other and please share with each other what we're doing. This is positive. We're doing something about it. We're not going out. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not having barbecues in the sh with other people. We're not. We're not going to clubs. We're not. We're not spreading coronavirus. We're staying at home. We're saving lives. That's what this program is about. What I, I invented. So come on. If I can do it, you can do it. And this show the world what we're doing to stay home to save lives. This is helping each other by staying home. We are helping each other. And that is all I want to do. And I want to thank each and every one of you for helping me make Jaywick Live, Jaywick Live daily. Jaywick Daily Live. 
and shine on you beautiful people. So what time is it now? Joanne, stay please, stay please. We want more please. Send me some videos, photos please. Ah, oh, Joanne. Joanne, I've been talking for an hour. So my throat's got sore and I've got other things to do. So I'm sorry, but we can, you can, we, you can message me on here all, all night. You know, I love you and I love Dan. And I, I'm doing this every day and I am going to be putting some more videos up. I've got about four more videos to put up. Thank you, Jimmy. And I've still got 10 minutes, Joanne. It's 4.50. So we've still got 10 minutes. So, Joanne, let's talk about the Javit Sands Happy Club. Joanne, how many happy times have we had at the Javit Sands Happy Club? It was great, weren't it? Donna turns up at 5, five with mum and dad. They turn up, they open up, they bring the tea and coffee. We thank you very much. And then, then, then I turn up, I bring the music, and then like we turn it on, and then we kiss and we hug, and we communicate, and we just be happy, we play games, we play table tennis. And then before we know it, there's 20, 30, 30 people there. We're all thinking about each other. This is why I created the Happy Club, so we can all communicate, we all talk to each other. And then come about seven o'clock, I call the meeting. And then everybody gets a chance to have a voice. And we write, write down all the things that are concerning the people of the Happy Club, the people that live in Jowick, what they think needs to be done to make it a better place. And then once, once all them things are written in a book, at the end of the meeting, that's sent off to the council. Donna Mim sends it off for us. Before they used to come to the meeting, but now it's easier for us to send. They're called minutes. We send the minutes to the council every month. Then they send the minutes back to us, which I read out to you at the beginning of the next meeting. It's a really good thing that um, I've created here, and it's going really, really well, and shine on. And this is... Penny! Penny! Pe Say hello to Jaywick. Tell him how, tell him how old you are. How old are you? And you are amazing. I love you, Penny. We will keep safe. That is Penny. Penny is 89 years old. Penny knew me from 11 years old. And I am now 45. So Penny has known me for 34 years. Penny needs a holiday. Penny needs a medal. Penny deserves a lot of love. She's put up with me for 34 years. Oh, sugar and spice. But Penny's very nice. And I love Penny very much. Penny, forever. Shine on Penny, 89 years old. And she's still walking the streets. She's a, she is a power ranger. She, every day she walks up and down the road to the shops, 89 years. She's a warrior. She is Jaywick Fresh Air. If anyone says to you, it's the sea air, then look at Penny, she's 89. And I would say to you, that's the Jaywick Sea Air. 89 and, and going on strong. Penny's gonna live to 110, no problem. 120, hopefully. Shine on Penny, and shine on to all of you. And who we got here? We got Michelle Harris. Hello, Michelle, afternoon. Our love to you and your family. Shine on Michelle. Richard, happy club sounds interesting and good. Richard, I hope one day, I hope one day, Richard, you come to a Wolverhampton Wanderers game. Only joking. I hope one day, Richard, that you come to the Javits Sands Happy Club. We'll make you guest of honour. I love your input. You're a lovely, you're a lovely man, Richard. Um, Malice, shine on, Malice. Male, Malice, I can't pronounce that, but a lovely name. You know it's a lovely name, I can't pronounce it. And we got Michelle Harris, wow. I know Michelle, it's amazing. 89 years old, wow, what a woman. Yeah, Richard, 89, she's amazing. Ah, oh, bless poor Penny. Penny's had me for 34 years, bless Penny. But she knows I'm a good boy. She likes it when I'm in the watchtower. I'm out of her way then. She's got a son called Andy. Andy's a really big man. Andy's about six foot five, really big built. Andy's like a warrior. And he used to be in the circus. And I wanted to run away and join the circus. And Penny ne nearly got me a job in the circus. But I got a job on a fun fair. I did that for a few months. I thought, no, I don't want to work on the circus anymore. But when I got older, I did. But you know, there's a time gap. You've got to get it in that time. So for me to be in the circus, I had to join by the time I was 11 or 12. You can't do something like that when you're in your 30s. Shine on to Penny. And Bev, hello Bev. Bev, I love Arthur. 
and I love you and Wall. And I need a female cat. So Bev, when you get a chance, fem female cat, please. Female cat for me. Thank you, Bev. Thank you, Wall. Michelle Harris, hello and to you. Thank you, Michelle. Hello and love to you and your family. Love your input. You're a lovely person for certain. Shine on Michelle. Richard, I will bring a head coach. Head, I will bring a coach load. Richard, bring a coach load, but only when the coronavirus is gone and it's safe to bring people. No one can come to me. No one can come and see me until the coronavirus is gone away. We all must stay home and we all must save lives. And that's why I'm doing this radio show every day. Jay Wick, live every day, so we can all stay home, watch each other, talk to each other, and spread the love. And there's Dion Mitchell. Hello, Dion. Always love Dion. I've loved Dion since I was about 10 years old. Dion and her beautiful family, Wayne, Billy, DJ, Steve, Tracy, M M Morgan, all of them, the beautiful family. I love the beards, beautiful family. Shine on to Dion. Beautiful lady. I love you and your family, always forever. And we got Richard. No, hopefully, me and my friend, okay? Of course, Richard, no problem. Richard, you're welcome to bring people that will treat us the way we treat them. So if anyone wants to come to Jaywick and not slag us off, then they're welcome to come. But make sure the coronavirus has gone away. Yeah, after the corona. Yeah, yeah, when the coronavirus is gone, then you can come. But wait till we're all safe. Stay home, save lives. Jimmy Harris, a coach load to the Free Jays pub. You know that, Jimmy. And let me know when you're coming. Obviously, when the coronavirus is gone. I enjoy your Jaywick lives. Thank you. I enjoy my Jaywick lives. I thought I'd create them because I saw how well the virtual happy club went. So if I was doing that once a month anyway, I'm now doing it every day. And I'm doing it because I want to bring people together. And I don't want no negativity. And I want us all to look on the bright side of life and to remember who we are and the good times that we've had, and how we love each other, and how we shine on, and we won't let people eat, eat into our brains, because we know who we are. We shine on. So now, what time is it, you beautiful people? What time is it now? Please. Oh, this is the life. Oh. What time is it now, you lovely people? Is it 5 p.m. yet? Is it 5 p.m. and we know it? Oh. There we go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, shine on. Brilliant. Oh, I've got four minutes to go. All right, I'm going to do my four minutes. I want to do an hour a day. Shine on. So here we go. We've just got Elaine. Hello, Elaine. I phone you when this finishes. Lots of love to you, sister. Love to you and Charlotte and to Gary. Always. And mum and dad and everyone. We love you all. Shine on to Elaine Townsend. We love you lots. Jimmy Harris, thank you very much. Can you please tell me when it's 5 p.m.? Thank you very much. Okay. We are supposed to be coming to meet Vicky. So when we do... Hopefully we'll catch up with you. Yes, Michelle, I can't wait. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Michelle. Whenever you, whenever this is over and you're allowed to come, we all want to meet. But obviously, we can only do it when the coronavirus is gone. And it's 4.55. Thank you, Richard. Michelle, 4.56. No, four minutes. Thank you, guys. Oh, three minutes. I've got three minutes. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to go, you know. I'm not, I'm not trying to go. It's just I've been talking for an hour. My throat's getting a bit sore. There's my road. Thank you, sister. I'll ring you after this video call, all right? I'm just doing my Jaywick Daily Lives video. Every day, I do a one-hour video bringing everybody together. You know, trying to keep peace and love together. Showing that staying home does save lives. If we don't stay home, then this is not going to go away and we're going to be locked up for longer. It just comes down to the basics in life, really. You work out what needs to be done and you do it. See you soon, sister. I'll ring you after this live video. Michelle Harris. Yeah, need a wee and a drink. Laugh out loud. Exactly, Michelle. I need a bit of my time. I need to do some things for myself. Put a record on. Relax. Have something to eat. 
and um, you know, sort myself out. And we all need our own time, don't we? I like my own time. I'm a Pisces. I like my own little fish bowl, and I got my fish because they are my wish. They're not on the dish. They are my bliss. I love my fish. And tonight we're going to go live with the fish as well because you know you love the fish as well. And I love you too, sister, and all of your family. Oh my family, we love each other. And Richard, I'm having a pepperoni pizza for my tea tonight. Richard, enjoy. I'm having real beef, beef with some roast potatoes, broccoli, swede, and some roast potatoes. Very nice. That's what I'm having for dinner tonight. And I want to get away and start preparing that. So I love you all. Thank you for watching Jaywick Daily Lives. This is the fourth or fifth one. You all made this show happen. So thank you to all and each and every one of you. You made this live video happen. And I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Unless I'm ill or whatever. But I will try and be here for 4 p.m. tomorrow. So please share the video if you was in it. Show your world what my world and your world is doing. Because our worlds come together. And coming together lasts forever. Please just get, let's send our final message to Boris Johnson. Get well soon, Boris Johnson. We love you. Thank you. This is the end of Jay with Daily Lives. It's 5 p.m. I've done my hour. I want to say thank you to Donna Mims for uh, letting me interview her. Thank you, Donna, for your insight about St. Thomas's Hospital. And that puts our minds at rest that Boris is in the best hands possible. Because Donna has been on the same ward as what Boris is on now. So thank you, Donna Mims, for your insight. My love to you always. My love to each and every one of you that I spoke to throughout this show. You made this show happen. This is Jaywick Daily Lives. This is how we get over the coronavirus. We self-insulate and we communicate through going live for an hour together. Stay safe, Michelle. Stay safe, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, every one of you. Shine on. This is Jaywick Daily Live. Jaywick Daily Lives. Live with Danny Sloggett Vision with all of you. Thank you for making it happen. Shine on.